Friday! Uh, it's been a <coughs> rough week to say the least. It's gonna be a somewhat rough weekend. And I am simply yearning to get into as much Ghost War as humanly possible before tomorrow's convention. I think I'm gonna play... Yeah, let's just go Ranger. We'll stay with what we know for now. I mean, there's no actual need for us to play something more complicated until we actually got our beats. So... Game starts soon enough. We are on the Z outpost, a good map to play the Ranger. Uh, our teams are <coughs> somewhat unbalanced. We have a level 6 on our team, but they have a level 16, level 10, level 15. I am level 23, we have a level 18, and a level 28. Oh, it's raining too. Sweet. I always like when it rains in Ghost Recon Wildlands because. Well, just look at this amazing graphics. I mean, for a multiplayer game, this is pretty damn sweet. Especially since, you know, the light and the dark actually makes choices matter more, too. There are some night maps where some choices are superior. Hostiles are going loud. Let's stay low and see what we can do about these tangos. We need to be covering this part. However, <coughs> one of the main problems about being in this particular part Marking position now. is that if someone decides they want to go up in the tower, we have a problem. Oh, that was one of our, one of ours. Sorry, I've just had... We've got enemy activity. What the amounts to a combined dinner and lunch, so... I need a little bit more fluid before I can talk coherently. Right now, we need to zigzag up to the next point. Now, apparently there was someone in this hour, but War Bishop got the guy. Sweet. That means we are somewhat clear to continue our, our advance here down on the right. Uh, <coughs> sorry, down on the left. It is my hope that the sniper is covering my six. I mean, the ranger is a very versatile operator. He can engage with pretty much any range, and that's why I like him so much. Uh, but his best option is still the M14. So they're behind me? Yeah, there they are. We gotta see if we can sneak up on the guy and maybe knock him out. Ah, crap. That would have worked a lot better had there not been a mortar strike pushing the guy back, but there's nothing to say about it. I got <coughs> way too overconfident either way. Okay, so it, the last guy is basically behind the hill. I hope that guy knows what he's shooting at, because not knowing what you're shooting at is unhealthy, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure what to pick the next round, but it's not like we got very far. In fact, we didn't get a single point on the board. But since we don't... We never found out where the enemy was, so... I'm gonna go with Scout.
So our role now <coughs> will be to find the target for the other players. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. The drone is up. I hope it's a warm rain and not a cold one. I mean, we're just having the business shirt and not much else, so. And if this is a cold rain, the business shirt can be... Yeah, keep shooting, you bastards. Just waste the ammo, please. Waste your ammo on a fucking drone. I'm gonna act as <coughs> backup to the sniper. Meaning that when the sniper is immobile, I'll drone and watch his back. Now we have the drone perk. Uh, using any other perk with the scout is pretty much useless. The scout is not meant for priority in combat. Rather, the scout's role is find the enemy and mark them for... Yeah, I think we got one at least. Heads up. We've got enemy activity. Target down. The reindeer is falling back towards the rocks. He's suppressed. Shit, man down! Now. Last guys in the village. I got him tagged. I need to get up there towards the village. See if I can help. One hostile remaining. Let's get this done. Yeah, they got the guy close to the tower, meaning they can revive the other guy, but. Moving up on the enemy tank. It's, it's in the building. Where the fuck did he go? Yeah. I didn't get the guy, but at least we helped suppress him. Always something. Alright, so our main... Let's see here, just wait and see what we're facing next. Pilgrim Retreat. This is a map where the scout is less effective due to all the trees. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna pick Diversionist here. I don't play the Diversionist very often, but in this map, his drone that fakes weapons fire could come in handy, especially against these guys who might actually not have that much experience with the Diversionist. We'll see. Either it works or it does not work, and if it does not work, then at least we have a decent gun. Also, I'm kind of proud on how I made the Diversionist, so I'm quite happy to actually get to use him for once. Our main job now is to stay in the forest, engage the enemy. Let's see here, semi-auto. Yeah, here we go. The Diversionist's drone is not as good as 
the other drones. It can't really Point tag drone. all that well. But it's also a lot sneakier. It's, it's not like it can be detected. I want to have some kind of visual on the... Ah, there they are. Nice. Sweet. Now we're gonna place ourselves in these bushes. Good. Now they think that there is fire coming from that bush. It's not entirely wrong. So we are using the truth to... Mask our lie. They will think that there are people in this bush. They might try and flank them. Meaning that... Our guys in the city might not be attacked head on. But this is just guesswork on my part. I need to shift right and stay in the woods. Crap. The problem is that the lie will have to now because uh, I just realized if there is a th I need to really distract them now so we're gonna use the drone come here and the drone yeah he bought it He's down on the ground. Got him. Sure, yeah, Got him. Kill. I'm very lucky there's not a guy in here now. The problem was, I did my diversion as I should. And then I almost fucked it up. Let's see here. We got... Yeah. I must say, our use of the diversionist there was pretty much textbook how the class should be played. At least as I understand it. However, we can't go out that way because right now that way will be far too exposed. We can, however, send our drone this way and have a look, see where. The enemy's gathering oh, we can't, Tower, eh? Ah, it's a trap. We might be. It's a trap, he never really activated it. I had to abandon my drone, too. That's bad. Thanks. Tango down. We got the guy. That's sweet. Now I want to see if the guy had any help. Hostiles are going loud. Yeah, they they got him. Well, job. We did a pretty decent job as the diversionist, I have to say. Two kills. And one successful diversion. I think we're gonna continue with that. I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised by the SR-635. I wasn't sure it would be such a powerful gun, but apparently it turned out to be just what we needed for this assignment. So now we wait. For it to load and for us to spawn on the other side. 
Now there are two ways we can do this. We can either jump down in the, the ditch and try and have a fire base there, or we could move into the town. Now, if we move into the town, our ability to use the diversionist drone will be severely limited. So I think I actually rather just. Drone is airborne. Yeah, we got the contacts. At least one enforcer. One enforcer and one ranger is pr using covering fire, moving towards the town. I got eyes on the ranger. At least one tango is moving up on the right flank. I can't tag people with my drone, so this is the best I can do. It might actually be a point man moving up on that flank too, but... <sighs> when you can't tag them, it's kind of hard to spot. Ah, crap. Not, not good. I need to keep an eye out on the woods too, so that the guys in the woods don't, if there are any, just doesn't come... Ah, but here we have the perfect ability with the Diversionist Drone. We'll just place it here, and then suddenly, they will think that there is fire coming from this house. And when they try to flank the house, we will be waiting for them. However, in order to do that more effectively, we, we need to become the bush. Okay, so now the sound just decided to tap out for some reason. The enemy has mortar, point man, and enforcer. One uh, right side next to you, evil. Running uh, back. Yeah, we know where the sniper is now, at least. And our artillery man is advancing. Target down. We got enemy activity. Marking position now. So far, so good. One in the house. Thank God for the... Oops, fuck. Thank God for the enforcer doing less damage than a BB gun. That's what I have to say about it. Here we go, frag out. Frag out. Remaining. So why is my gun locked to semi? It shouldn't be. Oh well. Frag out, heads up. I can do this faster than any of our teammates, so let's just tag the guy and be done with it. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> So another game then. 
at least one more game. I don't know really what my progression are. Um, how far I have to level 24 or level 25. It's level 25 that's the next big one since level 25 will... Uh, let's see, deforestation. I want to pick the MSR and sniper. Just give me one second and I'll turn off the outside light! And by the outside light, I do not mean the sun. In fact, by outside light, I do in fact mean... I do in fact mean the sun. And I won't turn off the sun, I'll just have to shut it out. In fact, I'm fairly certain trying to shut down the sun is a fool's errand. Alright, so Sniper with MSR gun. Nice. Let's see here. Scope 6M, semi-good. Automark on. Nice. That's all we wish it to be. There's a reason I'm keeping moving here, because... My shot may be thrown off if I'm moving, but I rather want the enemy's shots to be thrown off more. I don't know if the enemy has a drone, but they sure as hell has something... They sure as hell have a jammer. That's bad for me. Because right now I would very much like to know where the fuck our enemies are, and if they are jamming us, then they won't know. How, or rather, how can they be jamming us if they don't know if we're coming? Sadly, there's no way for us to break off the attack because the shield One is, is an in the middle. Yeah. Behind the antenna, behind the with the stack. It's too far. Roger that. Shoot him. Ah, I thought that was an explosive barrel. Crap, I missed it. Position now. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Nice. There's, that's a sentinel. I can live with that. I have the stun from on visual. Can I get him? He's suppressed and running away. I haven't actually used the MSR all that much, so that might actually explain why I, my performance with it was less than. Nice. Why my performance with the gun is less than I expected. Yeah, he got him. Got him. Got him. I have barely anything to do here. My team is doing all the work for me. But I really should switch back to the SRS. Uh, same place. That's the last one. Because right now... Good job. Good job. Right now, I'm not used to the MSR scope. The MSR scope is has more magnification than the SRS scope. And the MSR behaves differently. And I'm so fucking used to the SRS that... It's just silly trying, really. I'm gonna pick the sniper again, but th let's see here. Uh, the SRS has less rate of fire and less accuracy. Uh, the MSR is more accurate, so and the handling is worse. But the MSR is better in pretty much any respect. So I think what I'm trying to say is it's better if I learn to shoot with the MSR rather than use this inferior gun. Would you agree? Well, I don't require you to agree, so... There we have that. Hunt 
hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. The problem is that I don't remember enough of my shots to know what kind of corrections I should make. Uh, that is a bad thing, in case you were wondering. So we are going to take cover behind the logs. Because we are the log. Or uh, as judge. One is crossing to the wood house. Roger. Roger. Left side. The problem is, is, we need more cover here. And I don't want to be the kind of guy who takes the obvious cover. For some reason, that happened anyway. Because right now, we need I need to get a beat on where the fuck they are. Uh, there's drone one. Overhead. Made. Yeah, I need to run. Fire here. Fuck! That's just embarrassing. I thought I didn't hear the mortar as it was called down, and I f spent time blasting something I should have tried to blast. That's just embarrassing. I should have died to that. Thankfully, our own artillery person got me up and running in no time. Like I said, I don't know what kind of corrections I should make with this rifle. And it's an excuse, but it's a good excuse, damn it. Uh, as regards to all the other ones, if I was them, I would run very quickly in one direction. So I think they are going down the right flank, actually. No, they're in the town? I keep an eye on a buddy. The one you shoot. Crap! At last I got one with the MSR. I'm gonna mine the guy. Let's put a mine on him. Make sure he stays down. Wait, let me place a mine. He's mine. Oh, spotted. Shit, yep. man down. <laughs> yeah, he's somewhere around there. There should be an explosive barrel there somewhere I can shoot. But I can't see it. Yeah. He's moving to the right. Let's get this done. I killed the other one. On top of the... Tango down. Tango down. <laughs> I think I redeemed my myself a bit with the MSR rifle. At least that finishing shot. That was kind of nice. I'm far from the top player this round, but at least we got some more points on the board. That's nice. Almost all our enemies quit as well, so we might be f just be facing a new batch. Okay, it's so a Pilgrim Retreat. Not a map I would choose for... Oh, War Bishop sa changed sides now. This could be interesting. Uh, let's see here. We got one picking the Assassin. One pick... Yeah, I'm actually going to pick the Artillery because of the mines and the mortars and whatnot. Let's, I don't know how many games there will be, but...
there will, there will be at least this game. I don't know if there will be... My main problem with games like these are that I feel like they're taking, they're putting a bit of a strain on me to play. I've lost the ability to just play this game on and on, like I can, for example, Battlefield or Call of Duty. And the reason is that I think that Battlefield is more adapted to the format of just keep playing. And the reason I say that is because I think the respawns have have much to do with that. Now, I'm not going to say that Ghost War is bad, because it's not. I actually like Ghost War. But I am going to say that Ghost War limits the time I can play it for Enemy drill. Watch it. until I get... Not really... Um, not really stale, but until I feel I might have to do something else for a while. Apparently calling down everything and their mother upon the, the enemy scout did not work. Fuck, I'm made. Hello, scout. At least we got his drone, so there's something at least. Enemies lost visual. Now we can either spend our minds trying to predict how the enemy will move, or we can simply simply continue to be a diversion so that the assassin can do his job. I'm gonna cast a rockets down here so you can uh, engage them, assassin. I know where we're gonna place the mines at least. Fire. Ah, crap. I had hoped that we would not die as quickly, but at least there's a mine close to us. So if they try to mine me, then maybe the enemy will run straight into them. And now we're fucked. Unless our point man here can do the right thing. The right thing here is not revive me. The, the right thing is to try and revive our assassin in the woods. This is actually in his favor because they might run from the recon tower and when they do, they might actually run straight into my mine. At least that's what I'm hoping will happen. Yes, yes! Run to the mine! Run on to the mine, you fool! Couldn't you have run on to the mine one fucking second earlier? Oh, God. I don't know if you caught it, but he actually ran on to the mine. And he died due to the mine. He didn't do it in time, though. He just stood there and shot my friend to pieces. Instead of just, you know. Let's see here. I think I'm actually going to pick, pick the ranger this time around. And if we lose here, I am most likely going to take a break and... Take a break and focus on some other things, because <sighs> Lord knows I put too many things into my life as it is. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area.
So we are gonna shift right and move up to the right flank. And I mean really up to the right flank. We are gonna pretty much bury ourselves in the woods and I, yeah, I kinda hope this will go more unnoticed. Because usually scouts will try and focus there. And now we're gonna just hit the deck and wait. Because when if they find the point man, they will think that hey, we found them all. There's no, not going to be Heads up. that We've much more in the woods. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. There's also a nice hill here. A nice hill where we can stay. More or less undetected and just listen. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Now what I want is to be able to put down accurate fire from the flank upon these guys. The problem is that the only counter sniper this team got is me. Let's see if we can reach the guy. He's moving. We are relocating. Crap. The scout is on our part of the map at least. He's somewhere in the woods. Now I think the best way for me is to move up here and see if I can provide fire support Recon for the assassin. Damn, the rain the rain sound effect is actually pretty awesome, especially when it's bounce it increases and bounces off the leaves. When it does that it's actually kinda of distracting Target too. Down. Yeah, we got the second guy. Me and the assassin have various hostiles. Man down, man down. Take the rain. Frag out. Nades out. Tango down. We got him. That is how you take terrain. Taking terrain in this manner is usually a very effective way to just push an enemy that doesn't have defensive capabilities at that range. Now, we're not gonna push the recon tower because I think our dear enemy is expecting that. Instead, we are going to go to the second story here and keep a watch. Because at some point. Got enemy activity. Oh, come on! My trigger was delayed for some reason. Why was it delayed? It might be more joystick interference, but. Or it could just be that. However, there are now two dead guys over there, and yeah, and the point man is coming from the other direction, meaning I. Marking position now. Got a fix on me. Got him. I was suppressed, but I got him still. That gotta hurt. I think I just got lucky with my hits there. It wasn't skill. I just want to alliterate that it wasn't skill, that was just pure luck. <sighs> I don't know what to pick the next round. 
I think we're gonna go with Ranger again. overhead. One motor drone, one scout. I need to hit the trench, then we are gonna be still. They have attack, let's see, that was the point man. Good. I do not have a bead Hostiles on the sniper. Loud. I do not have a bead on the point man. Damn it. I had hoped that I could get a bead on at least one of them. Sky is clear from drones. That was one of the mistakes the mortar and scout did. They both sent out their drones at the same time. And doing so is yeah I got you now. He's history. Tango down. That was just the artillery man, but still nice. What I'm gonna do now wait. See if someone It'll tries and soon. revive the guy. Got eyes on an enemy drone. I glad I didn't fire because I Yeah, the scout is most likely checking if the coast is cleared. It's kinda nice because I think the scout thought he got killed from a far shorter distance. Do you think the scout is gonna go for it? Yep, the scout will go for it. Scout is down, scout is down. Recon tower is back online. It wasn't as clean as we got enemy activity. Marking position now. Shit, man down. Man down, man down. Fuck. I got one sniper, one point man Anything left to data. kill. Get my six. Heads up, we've got enemy activity. Crap, that's not good. Man down, man down. Yeah, I got the sniper now. Ah, that was frustrating. Especially as I, as I could hear my sniper rounds hit the mark. Well, this was a good game at any rate. And we got a level, so it wasn't entirely wasted. And we're quitting this squad. That will have to suffice. For now, at least. Use a frag grenade to detonate hidden explosives. That is a terrible waste of explosives. Let's see, we have nine available skills and... Drone range, marksman. Well, I I I don't really use ghost sense. <sighs> so I actually think that I'm not entirely sure which one would actually benefit me the most. I think we're gonna go for drone range and let that be it. And that's the end of today's ghost war. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.